How to make a photo mug. Hi, my name's Terry from Picture Perfect Products and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step procedure on how to do a photo sublimation mug all the way through from printing, trimming and pressing. Here we go. Now, firstly, there's the mug press, the blank mug in a gift box and styrofoam, a cutting mat in the background, heat tape in a dispenser, a cutting knife, and a stainless steel ruler for trimming the paper. Okay. Now you'll see on the table now is a template. That's a one up on an A4. 3 up on an A4, these are supplied on your disc and there's the image that we're going to put on a mug 1 up on an A4, Sarah Jane has also done it 3 up on an A4, uh, so each one of those can be trimmed and if you like you can also step 3 different types of mugs 3 up on an A4 as well. Uh, you can either do 1 up, 3 up of the same image or three up of different images. So here's Sarah Jane now, she's going to trim this up to the template trim size which is 90 millimeters top to bottom and 210 millimeters side to side which is the same size as an A4. Okay there it is, one up. Now uh, Sarah Jane's also going to trim these three up as well just to show you how quick and easy it is to do lots and lots of production with mugs. And here you go. So as you can see it's fairly easy. Once you step it up with the templates that are supplied on your disc, all's good. So there we go. Okay, and uh, there she's just tidying a few things up now. Okay, rightio. So now, what we're going to do first is turn the picture over and you're going to get two pieces of tape and you're going to turn each edge over slightly and you'll know why a little bit later on while we do that. So she just puts one bit of tape a little bit higher than the other and grabs the blank mug out of the styrofoam. Great for posting those styrofoam boxes. She wraps it around perfectly square and you'll see how one piece of tape is slightly higher and lower. There you go. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here for a second just show you a couple of pictures which is really important. Every time you do a mug in the mug press or turn the mug press on you need to have that blank mug in the press as it's shown here now. So you turn the mug press on with it in and then when you're finished you turn the mug press off with it in as well so that the pad stays in shape as it's heating up and cooling down and it's a little bit like cooking a cake. You warm the, the mug press up by cooking that blank mug each time. If you're doing one mug, cook two. If you're doing 10 mugs, cook 11 and so on. Okay, now Sarah Jane is going to now put the blank mug in the press as I said. There she is, slowly putting it into the heat pad. Notice the press isn't on yet. So now we're just going to adjust, adjust the pressure. Here she's tightening it up a bit. It's got to have good firm pressure. So turn your mug press on and press the middle button, the OK button, and set the temperature. Now the temperature should be set to 190 degrees Celsius. And then press the middle button again. Now set your time. And the time in this instance should be three and a half minutes, which is 210 seconds. And press the middle button again, and now it will count down. So what you're doing is pressing the middle button three times. The first time set the temperature, the second time set the time, and the third time it will start to count down. Here it is coming to the end now. Here it is, zero. And what we're going to do now is take out the blank mug and we're just going to place that on the table away from the mug press and we're going to slide in to the mug press fairly quickly the mug with the paper on and as you can see your mug press should start to count down for three and a half minutes which is now going to cook the mug with the image on it so there it is so now we're going to take that mug out we're going to put that on the bench and we're going to forget all about it and we're either going to put the second mug in to cook and get it started or in this instance we're going to put the blank mug back in, close the press off, go over here and turn it off. There it is, how simple. 
easy. Now, back to the mug. Now we're gonna take off the tape. Now you know why we had the flap on each piece of tape. And there it is, the ink's come off the paper and it's sublimated onto the mug. How beautiful is that? Look at that. And that's it. So now we wait about 30 seconds, depending on what the weather, and we just submerge it into a bucket or a dish of room temperature water. And that stops the sublimation. And there's Sarah Jane now pulling it out, drying the mug off, and there is your first picture perfect quality sublimation mug. Beautiful. How good's that?